Hello guys, this is Chris from CKM Car Design. F first of all, a big, big thanks to all the subscribers for hanging in there with the super lack of uh, videos lately. So I get tons of emails and messages about how to do this swap from the old steering wheel to the new steering wheel. So I thought I show you how easy this is. This is really easy, not that hard that everybody thinks. First of all, if you have this old steering column, you need to swap it to this new one. Just find the used one that have the same levelers that yours have, the same features. And it's the exact same thing for this steering wheel type. You need a new steering column. Always. If you have this old steering wheel, to remove the airbag you have to unscrew it on the back. As you can see here, you have two screws. And if you have this version, you just do like this. You have two little holes on the side, so you just push this in and it pops out. And when it comes to this wheel, you must make sure you have these arrow buttons. As long as you have these, everything in the steering wheel will work with this steering column. If you bought this wheel with a different set of buttons here, you have to replace these buttons, the electronics inside and the shift panels to make it work. So try to find one with these arrows. So first of all, disconnect the battery. Uh, if you don't have uh, the Mercedes star diagnosis uh, system, so you can erase the airbag errors, do disconnect the battery. In that way you will not get any errors at all. So now when you have loosened the airbag, just remove it. Very gently of course. And then you have the two connectors in here. Just uh, disconnect them and remove the airbag. And now, before you take off the steering wheel, make sure it's centered, so you get the steering wheel correctly on. And now just remove the steering wheel, like that. And now the steering column. This is also very easy, just carefully pull it straight out, like that. And then you have this little snap it off, like this, very easy, it just clicks off, like that. I only have one hand here, so I'll do my best to make this look as easy as it is. And now just disconnect the connector inside. Like that. And it's off. Now just do the install in the reverse order. So here we have the new steering column with the new levelers. And same here, it just clicks in place, like that. Now for the steering wheel. Here we go. As I said, make sure it's centered. Like that. Here you have the connector. The screw goes in there. I'll do my best. For the airbag, just like that, and then you just pop in the airbag, like that. Quite a difference. Just to show you that everything works, like that. And 
There you go. And it's the volume. So there you go, big difference, don't you think? That's how super easy it is to change the steering wheel to the new one. So thank you very much for watching and please subscribe if you like the content.